the D-Lab, everybody. I've got a real treat for you classic radio collectors, a Johnson Navigator transmitter with the original manual. It's in here for evaluation. I already took a sneak peek. It's been modified, but I believe it's all reversible. Let me show you what's going on. We'll unmod it, test it out. All right, let's give the little navigator an inspection. You see the front panel on this one is pretty much perfect. Original meter is still installed. VFO tunes nice and smooth. All switches are free to move. She looks great. Let's take a look at the chassis. All right, top side inspection. All the tubes are present. Everything's nice and clean. This was a kit but whoever did it did a good job. I noticed right here on the bracket that holds the VFO cover to the front panel the head of one of the screws has sheared off. That's not a big deal. The problems are underside. Let me show you the modifications. Alright on the bottom of the chassis I noticed a few things right off the bat. There's an added resistor here, big old carbon guy and there's a 20k resistor here. It appears as though somebody who's making some type of a voltage divider. Here is a diode kind of hanging in the breeze. Here is another resistor kind of hanging in the breeze. And as we go up here I notice some other modifications up here by the OD3 voltage regulator tube. Let me take you a little bit closer into this area down here by the 6x4. We'll take a look at uh, somebody's attempt to solid state that DC supply. Okay, here's a close up on the power supply section. You can see somebody's been kind of busy in here doing some mod. Who knows what it was for? Normally, these navigators work great as designed, so I need to reverse all this. Already talked about the voltage divider. Here is a close up on the 6x4 tube socket. You can see one of the lugs is missing. You've got a diode hanging in the breeze with a wire down there kind of hanging out feeding the 4.7k resistor. There is another splice job here of three wires all joining together and doing who knows what. So I do not feel comfortable powering this radio in this configuration. So I need to investigate why this was done on the 6x4 and I'm going to put in some fresh filter caps and then we'll try to power up the navigator. So what I do in this case is grab my wire cutters and carve out the modifications. All right? There's no reason to try to diagnose a radio that's been modified when you know that it worked great when it was stock. Okay, so what I'm going to do is remove all this stuff. And I'll go through the schematic and I'll put her back the way she was and then we'll test it. So I do find it kind of comical that somebody would get in here, take the lugs off of a tube socket, disable the filaments, do the diode mod, but still have the 6x4 rectifier plugged in on top like it's really doing something. <laughs> all right. I'm going to start off by removing the socket, rewiring it. There's some little orange wires that are tearing off across the chassis. There's another coil up here. I'm going to get it all out. Well, here's a close up of the repaired area. I found an original Johnson type cinch socket for this 6x4. So that's replaced and all the wiring is back as it should be. You'll see this additional green wire. That is supplying the filament to pin 3 of the 6x4. There was just too many wires to try to cram onto that one terminal, so I found one on the 5U4 that wasn't being used, and that now became a landing spot. I upped the filter cap to a 40 microfarad at 500 volts, and this guy over here, the 33 microfarad, is for the negative bias. All right, I think I've reached the point with a navigator that I can try an initial power up. Got the new filter caps installed. Had to reverse a lot of wiring. I have no idea what this guy was doing. 
I found extra wires going up into the VFO so I had to remove the cover from the side of the VFO and of course you gotta work with dental picks and inspection mirrors to see what's going on in there this one does not have the OA2 voltage regulator inside of the cage later ones I heard did but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing up slowly on a Variac and watch for shorts and make sure things light up and hopefully get high voltage and maybe some output well it appears as though I'm not getting any grid current even though when I do go to transmit I'm seeing some current fluctuation but there's absolutely no output all right I believe I know possibly what's going on pin 3 of the 6146 is the screen voltage according to the schematic should be about 150 volts when I'm in transmit I got nothing so we are not switching the screen voltage on and off by the operate switch either the switch is bad or we got some more miswiring so it's time to investigate well this little navigator it's getting me <laughs> so I corrected the screen problem I found that the wire going to the screen was just actually on a terminal board going to nothing so I think somebody may have been externally switching that one time put that back where it belonged I have the 150 volts now on pin 3 of the 6146 but still nothing and obviously when I'm going to uh, zero just the exciter I should see some grid current I see nothing so we got either an issue with the VFO or the driver circuit fun stuff all right everybody guess what yep I'm still working on the navigator I can't get this thing to transmit everything appears to be correct okay so watch when I go to transmit position you see my screen voltages come on hit the key there's my VFO signal but I have no grid current on the meter okay and I have no plate current obviously and no output the negative voltage is approximately negative 50 to negative 60 volts on transmit the manual shows negative 80 I don't really know if that's bad or not my high voltage is good going to the 6146 I've checked all the tubes I've went through the schematic over and over verified everything is correct so why won't the stupid thing transmit I'm at the point guys I need to put it on the shelf and move on unless somebody out there can say hey Terry I've seen this before check this so I'm asking can any of you guys help me to fix the navigator so I can move on because it drives me nuts.